We have uh, one of the highlights, I think, yes, yesterday of the press conference is a man who uh, built a very different type of EA game, a sequel to the 2016 indie platformer Unravel. Uh, joining us here is uh, Martin Celine to talk about Unravel 2, which this is not a game that you know is coming out down the road. It's actually available now, right? You guys kind of yeah. shadow dropped it yesterday during the press conference? Yeah, we launched it yesterday. That's um, amazing. Well, I, I'm sorry I haven't played it yet because we've been busy getting this show ready, but Unravel was such a, a beautiful game. Uh, everyone remembers the press conference a few years ago with you and Yarny and the, the heartfelt sort of story. And one of the big things with this one is uh, co-op, obviously two characters. Yeah. Uh, just like, first I got to ask you, just like two Joy-Cons, why, why don't we have a Switch version? <laughs> oh, everybody's asking this. Yeah. Uh, because we're a really tiny team. Yeah. And we're re making the game on our own engine. Yeah. And basically, like, we really want it to be on Switch, but it's yeah. going to be a whole lot of work to do it. So right now, we just, like, didn't have time. We would have yeah. to have delay everything by, like, a year to put it oh on Switch. All right. So we couldn't really do it. But the thing is, like, if we get the chance, yeah. we would be all over it. I was going to say, when I just saw the two characters, yeah, exactly. colors, I'm like, like when we sense. saw the Switch come out, yeah. it was also like, damn it, <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> so, well, like, we really want to do it, but we're going to just make sure that we can sometime down the road. Well, it's, it's a beautiful game, and you look at the visuals of it, it's great. So, obviously, you know, the yarn theme is a big part of this. But, but tell me with this one, you know, the, the aspect of co-op, how does that change the gameplay because obviously as you can see here I mean there's yarn between the two characters mm -hmm. and it really there are a lot of co-op based puzzles now yeah I mean it, it really changes up everything because yeah. it's, it's like you're no longer stuck in the past you're stuck with each other yeah. <laughs> instead and you're working through all of these different problems together so it's really just all about just like trying to build that bond but we tried also to just like not be stuck in the past in like how we design things as well so we just like try to make everything yeah. like feel new feel different so it's a much more like agile and kind of like jumpy and sort of like fast paced game even though like chase now it's like really taking his time come on chase run <laughs> well and it seems like they combine there together at one point almost yeah the thing is yeah. like when you're playing on your own you can yeah. kind of pick up the other character and just like carry them along with you because we didn't want it to be like a blocker when you were playing it in single and it's player. not like a way out like you could play co-op only this one you can play by yourself or you can yeah play absolutely with yeah. so it's always about uh, about yeah. two characters but yeah. uh Try, try to make it as seamless as possible so you can literally just like pick up a controller and start playing right now and then there's two of you and wow. then you can just like switch back to single player when you want to so drop so in drop out and yeah. point in the game yeah exactly like mid jump you can do it it's, uh -huh. it's kind of nice so tell us um, about some of the sort of the, the puzzles and sequences and platform I mean obviously it's a puzzle platformer mm -hmm. at heart but for, for Unravel 2 what were you able to do with this game that you couldn't do the first time around uh, we can make moves on a like much more grand scale like yeah. you're much more like agile and acrobatic now so uh, And especially like since it's a co-op game We try to just like create moments that were like cool to experience together. Yeah. I don't know if you saw the big like Angry birds I, was chase. I know it's like we want to have yeah. stuff like that where you're kind of like just like cheering and high-fiving each other and just yeah. like having a really good time together mm -hmm. so that's, that's pretty much like the shift, to try to make something that felt a little bit like peppier. Yeah. Uh, that's like... No, there's, and there's a good energy to it, I feel like. Yeah, absolutely. Like more action and, and just like, and like try to get... back and forth. Yeah. Try to get like good flow in the gameplay, uh -huh. like when you're swinging around on your yarn and swinging from each other and it's just wow. like super fast and fluid and it's just mm -hmm. really nice to play. And I, I say, think, it definitely has that sort of like, you know, much more action adventure oriented focus to it. And how big is your team now? Uh, there's 17 of us. 17 of you guys yeah. building this game. So yeah. Unravel obviously did well enough you got to do a sequel. Do you, what do you guys want to do moving forward? Do you think more um, Moriarty? Uh, it's still a secret. We'll see what happens. Well, um, but it was, it was interesting making this game because we tried to really like change up how we made games. Yeah. So like the first game was very much like kind of like my baby. Yeah. Whereas with this game, we tried to do everything very much as a team. Wow. We tried to get, make sure that, like, since we're such a small team, we wanted to get everybody involved on all levels. So we yeah. had pretty much like everyone was involved in creating puzzles, creating platform challenges, and making little gameplay bits. And we tried to write it together. We tried to design it together. So we basically did the whole thing in a committee. Like the, yeah. the, the thing that they tell you that you're not supposed to do, we tried to do it and just like do it as like a democracy. Just it's like, not easy to get 17 people all to agree, but it, I mean, you know, the first no, game was no, so no. inspiring and it looks beautiful. I can't wait to go home and play it so we can download it right now. Yeah, you can get it. it you could get it today. I, yesterday even all right well, that's what we love because sometimes we see these games that don't come out for years and today's something we can play after they finish watching all our coverage right <laughs> but uh martin great to see you congratulations great to, see you too. Great to have you. indie games on this show as well now a few moments